we have a great tip of the week today. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. Uh, David suggested it, and I think it's right on, on the mark with uh, some of the questions we've been seeing in the Facebook group, uh, some of the discussions that have been started there, um, how to create a community message board uh, with your Brilliant Directories website. Uh, if it's okay with you, David, may I pass it over and uh, we could take a deep dive into this tip of the week. Yeah, absolutely. So as Jason mentioned, we've been getting this question a lot recently. Uh, a lot of our users wanting to know how to create message board type experiences on their BD websites. And a little more than a couple of weeks ago, we released the discussions post type, but we covered it in a webinar uh, a few weeks ago. So we thought we'd do a little bit deeper dive into the discussions post type, the community comments feature on the website as well, and how you can utilize those really simply to create a really great message board experience for your community. Let's cover first how this will actually work on your website. So as I mentioned, we'll be utilizing the discussions post type as well as the free community comments uh, website add-on. And you can select which members are allowed to post new discussions because this is a post type. It will be managed just as you would any other post type like events, articles, classifieds. So you can select which members have the ability to post new discussions. You can also select which members uh, can comment on discussion posts. And this is all separated by membership plan. And then lastly, uh, members can obviously reply to comments on a post. Uh, so this is really what will create that message board experience. Uh, if you think of something like Reddit, that would be a great example uh, of basically what we're replicating here. You have a primary discussion post, something that starts off the discussion. And then beneath that, you can have other members start to comment and reply to comments all on that same post. Quickly, let's go over some of the primary benefits of having a message board on your website. Obviously, it will increase member engagement, but it will also help to boost your website SEO by having additional content on your website. And this, you know, we talk a lot about user-generated content and how to entice your members to participate in your community and, and publish content for your website. This could be a great way to encourage members to add content to your website without having to you know, write an article or, or make a video or create an event or anything like that. Uh, this is a really simple way to get some of that community generated content onto your website. It will also increase member signups because users will need to uh, be logged into an account in order to uh, leave a comment on a discussion or to post a new discussion. Uh, same thing as would be required on any other website. They'll need to have an account to log in. This will also help to facilitate better communication uh, between you and your members. We'll talk about later on in this presentation another way you could utilize the discussion post types, which will help to facilitate this point. Members can also directly engage with each other. You know, maybe you're not utilizing the private member chat add-on. So this would be an alternative almost to that. It would be public, not private, but it's a way for members to directly communicate with one another uh, on your website. And lastly, it adds to your website's credibility. It shows users uh, who may not be registered yet within your community that you do have an active community and that members care about each other and that they're interacting with one another. And they can also see, you know, if you're replying to discussions and, and interacting in the comments section as well, they can see that as well. So there's a lot of other benefits uh, depending on your website and how you utilize this feature. But these are some of the primary ones that would be applicable to pretty much any website that does utilize a message board type feature. One more thing is um, these are really good benefits. And again, you said there's a lot more benefits. Like one thing that's just popping out to me is, you know, if you send a monthly newsletter and there's a there's one of the, the messages on the board that has a lot of comments and it's trending and it's really popular, you know, you could share those, uh, those threads, links to those threads in the newsletter uh, to get other community members uh, involved in those uh, discussions. So maybe there's a hot topic of the month. One of your members asks the question and everyone's jumping in to answer it or something like that. So uh, you can basically share some of the trending discussions in newsletters or on your social media, et cetera. So it's good for SEO and it's also good for email and social marketing uh, strategies as well because you have content being created on your site for you. Absolutely. And if you reverse that strategy, you know, if you send out a monthly, weekly newsletter, you can also post that newsletter as an announcement, as a discussion on your website and encourage your members to comment on that announcement. So instead of having a newsletter 
uh, act as more of a individual message type thing, you know, going to somebody's personal inbox, you can make it more of a public uh, announcement and encourage uh, engagement and interaction on that by creating a discussion out of it. All right. So we took the time to kind of very quickly uh, put together uh, kind of like a mock message board on this on this demo site that we play around with. Uh, so let's kind of show you guys what's behind the scenes, how this is working, um, and how you guys can set it up on your own as well. And I think I think a good place to start, David, instead of going directly to the message board page, which we could certainly do. So we created this page. It says a message board, and there are kind of several categories here uh, for message board topics and conversations. Let's actually take a quick look at one, and then we'll look uh, behind the curtain to see what's going on here. So uh, we've added message board in the in the main menu. It could be an important important enough part of your business plan or, or website that you want to add it to your main menu. And we included drop down links to the different categories for the discussions. And we also linked to those same categories here. Um, and we just, we, we found some images online and we use them as icons uh, using the, the page builder. Uh, so we have a, a sample general chat here. So we'll click here and this will take us to the discussions board in the general chat category. And uh, we can see here, there is a chat that says, hello world. It could be a question. It could be something your members posted, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, we can go ahead and click on it. And we can see here that somebody asked a question. Uh, it was posted by, we have the author snapshot here. So we know who posted it. You can leave comments here. Uh, we can see there's a trail of comments here as well. And this is basically a, a discussion started uh, in the message board. Uh, anything else before we get behind the scenes? Should I mention anything else about this, David? I think the only thing to mention would be if you want to keep this really simple, really basic, members don't necessarily need to add images as well. So if you want it to be really basic, like a question and answer sort of discussion area, uh, members can just post a text question and it would work the same exact way. Cool. Um, yeah, I think so too. Some maybe with the message boards, uh, they don't, we don't want them to put like a feature image like they do with like an event or a coupon. Uh, so let's take a look at what's going what's going on here behind the scenes. And where we're going to start is actually under my content and the edit post settings. So David actually did something pretty interesting here. Everyone should have the discussions uh, post type. And this is uh, basically the main discussions, the, the threads that your, your members can start, the conversations. And he's added some categories here. This is a general chat, business services, achievements, uh, compliments and website suggestions. So these are just some arbitrary categories we created uh, for the message board. And what we've done is then for this post type discussions, we've assigned it to the membership plans that have the privilege of posting discussions. And let's take a look here. I think our premium plan top contributor under can post, uh, yeah, discussions, this membership plan can post discussions. Uh, so that's our sample member here. I'm, I'm logged in. Let me go to my dashboard. And let's actually create a new discussion. And we've done this before. Uh, so let's create a new discussion. Um, is anyone else losing money on home appraisals? Let's say it's a let's say it's a real estate site. It's a bunch of real estate people here. And you know, he's he posts his question. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and just put this as the question. And let's choose a category. So this will be uh, maybe business services that we created. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And we can view the post. So here it is. Uh, he's asking the questions. Anyone else losing money on home appraisals? And you can leave a comment here. And we'll comment. That's great. Here's the comment. So if we go back to the message board, and this is under business services, let's just go back to the message board a landing page we created. We'll go over that in a second. So here it is under business services. If I click this, we can see here I have this post here now. Is anyone else losing money on home appraisals? And I can see this, and I can click on it, and I can comment on it. So now the interesting thing is, if you guys notice, I went a little quickly here, we actually have two different uh, things. We actually cloned the discussions post type and we called one announcements. And what we did with the announcements one is we only assigned it to the membership plan that is the admin contributor. 
So in that section, the announcements post type, only the admin is contributing posts to that kind of like that discussion area. So let's take a look at that together. So under membership plans, so that's kind of like the blog articles versus the community articles where under the blog articles post type, it's the, the staff and the admin of the website adding the articles and the community articles are the ones where the members are contributing. So they're two totally separate different post types. And David, you said you mentioned you created this here website admin uh, as a membership plan. And this one can post both announcements and discussions. So remember, announcements is our secret one, kind of that only the website admin can post. And you see there's only one member here as the website admin. So let's actually log in as the website admin. And we'll show you what we did on the landing page. Let's log in here. Great. So the website admin can post discussions or announcements. And we're going to say holiday party in July. And you can have different categories. You could just have a category announcements. But this one, if we notice the difference, the URL for this is announcements, whereas the ones for our discussions are is discussions. So this is a totally different post type, but we're going to make it seamless on that message boards page. So the users don't really notice that there is a difference between them. Uh, so let's just put holiday party in July. There we go. And we'll save the changes. Okay, let's go back to our message boards and let's go to announcements. This, this page is key here, so let's see. Okay, great, here it is. Well, we had one website announcement here with an image, but we can see here holiday party in July and this is under announcements. So let's look at the landing page that we created and this main menu here, because I think this is what ties everything together is this having this page with uh, the message board and, and the selecting a category, et cetera, et cetera. And we're going to show you how you can get the different categories. So discussions, we had those different categories set up and we're linking directly to those categories. Let's take a look at this page here. And Dave, if you don't mind, I'll go to this page, but can you kind of show us how you, how you set this up? Yeah, definitely. So it's very simple. We just used the basic tools that are included. Uh, all we did was we created a three by three table. You see the uh, middle row in there acts as a little bit of a separator, but we just found some icon images online, added them here, added some text. We have the button link pre-made element that we dragged over into each of these cells. And then we added the, we customized the text to make it view all. We can then add a link to the image, to the title of each category, as well as uh, to the button here. But this is really it. Also uh, important to mention is the hero section tab. At the top of the page, we did have that really nice cover image with, uh, with the title there. Uh, so all those settings are controlled here in the hero section. We just uploaded uh, this hero image. We added a color overlay. We set the visibility of that color overlay to eight out of 10. So there's a little bit of transparency there, uh, which makes the text on top a little bit easier to read. We center aligned the text, made the text white, edited the font size of the main title and the subtitle text. And those titles are at the very top of this web page builder. A message board is the main title, select a category and start chatting is the subtitle. And that's pretty much it. This whole process took maybe about 15 minutes, uh, not including any time it would take, you know, to find icons and stuff. But uh, yeah, very simple. To summarize, it's just creating the table, adding in the image icons that we found online, adding in the text, dragging over the buttons from the pre-made elements on the right-hand side. And then the last thing to do is just to link all of those to the proper URLs for all of these discussion categories. And that's perfect. And let's actually show you guys, for example, where to get, because we had to link this manually. We had to get the link for business services, and then we needed to edit the link here. So it goes to business services. Let me show you guys where to get links for your post categories. That way you can use them in your main menu. You can use them on landing pages. Uh, so you can create nice pages on your site and link to specific categories of your posts. Uh, so the easiest way to do it, I think, is go to your edit post settings. I'll open a new tab. And 
we'll use the discussions as an example. So uh, you can right here in edit post settings, if you ever needed to get to like the search results page of one of your post types, uh, you can just come here and it can go, this is the URL permalink. Uh, basically, to, this will take you to the search results page for all discussions. And then if you want to get the link for a specific category, the easiest thing to do, just do a search for that category in the sidebar here with your search module and hit search now. And this would be the URL that takes us directly to business services. So we really just need to copy everything after the first forward slash. Whoops. So just, you could copy the whole thing if you want, but I like to just, you just need to take uh, the first forward slash and beyond. And when we come back to our landing page, that's exactly what we want. So we have this image here and we can, of course, link images. I'll edit the link and just paste this in here. And then we also added this button. I'll actually remove this button and uh, show you guys how I added it. So I put a space here. I dragged a button here and then I changed it to be the default. And then I edited the button. The URL is gonna be the business services link and I like it to say view all. And I'll go ahead and uh, save the changes. Oops, just hit enter there. And that's it. Um, I think in this hero section, just to show you guys the overlay color, what it does, it's something new we added. Uh, so if we look at this page, David had like a dark blue overlay. I'm just going to do red so it's like a big difference in the contrast. And if we refresh, we'll see here. So again, just depending on the mood of your site, uh, the hero image can, can come in really handy. And that overlay is really cool because uh, you can add a tint on top of the image so the, the text can really pop a bit more. Uh, but yeah, to get the link to a category, that is the easiest way. Uh, go to your edit post types. And so for the announcements, that one's a little different. Uh, let's go to the announcements page. And because this is its own post type and there are um, there are not yet really any additional categories, maybe later we do announcements, maybe another one we do company news, things that are really dedicated to the message board that only the admin of the website are going to post. Um, again, you can do the search here and just copy everything from the first uh, forward slash. And if we come back to our landing page under announcements, I want to make sure that I am linking uh, there. Same thing with the image. And that's it. That's how you can get links to the category. So you can make a nice little landing page and you can now have a message board experience. For the links, we did the same thing in the main menu. I'll just, since we're talking about it, I'll go there real quick in the menu manager. And this is the header main menu. And we can see here, uh, we have the message board and you can see we've nested about five or six links uh, with their respective URLs. So we put the name that we want and it just goes to the page that it's related to. So by linking to the categories, we create like a really nice interactive experience just for one of our post types or two of our post types uh, by linking to the pages that the, they correspond to. And in a nutshell, what we've created here is a page that acts like a portal and you can create portals for different things. In previous webinars, we talked about when members log in, you can redirect them to another page. You can bring them in their in their member dashboard. You can create something like this to make their dashboard more of a portal of places they can go on your site and actions you want them to take. Uh, for public visitors, maybe this is the page where they see that they can search events, coupons, classifieds, uh, member listings, you know, add your business could be one of them. So think of this as not just message board. Now we're expanding it a bit more, creating portal pages with maybe, you know, three, six, nine, 12 distinct links of actions or places on our website we want visitors and members to go to. So it helps with the navigation, provides a better experience, and it's super simple turns your site more into an app like experience where they're just clicking to get to the to the section they want to get to um, without any cumbersome uh, filtering or searching at least right from the bat so keep that in mind as well